Three, two, one. Wow. Toi de un. Allez. Salut, Bugtube. Je m'appelle Dane. Et, et aujourd'hui, je vais discuter Boule de Feu par Anouk Ricard et Etienne Chase. Chase. Uh, I am going to talk in English. There's no way I can talk in French throughout the entire video. I'm working on it. However, hello. Today, I'm going to be talking about this, Boule de Feu by Anouk Ricard and Etienne Chez. And this is a French BD, so like a graphic novel. Uh, France actually has like the third largest graphic novel slash comic industry in the world. I think behind like China, and, uh, sorry, Japan and uh, America. And I can see why. I mean, like this book is just beautiful. It's very hard to tell you what it's about. So what I'm going to do in a second is I'm going to just take the camera and freestyle it. And we're going to... I'm going to try and read some of it aloud to you with my uh, dodgy French. But I wanted to give you a bit of context first. So I've read a, 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 a Nuke Ricard book previously, and uh, I read it with my girlfriend, who is French, and I'm trying to learn French. So we read it together, and I'll like read it aloud and say what I think it means, and then she'll correct me. And I think I'm getting better, because as we were going through this, the less she needed to correct me, you know? And sometimes I think I surprised her with some of the weird stuff that I've managed to learn from various places. So, um, yeah, it was, for that, I mean, it was a beautiful book. I'm going to rate it now, actually. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut to the footage of me going through the book, and then we're going to cut to the end, and I'm going to rate it. So let's do that. Okay, Boulder Fur. Par Anouk Ricard et Etienne Chez. Okay, so we'll go right at the start, so here we go. Ah, te voilà, Fernando. Entre, il n'y a pas de temps à perdre. Ah, te voilà, Fernando. Entre, il n'y a pas de temps à perdre. So he's saying, ah, there you are, Fernando. Come in. We don't have any time to lose. Désolé, Maj Pueblo. Je me suis perdu. Okay, sorry, Maj Pueblo. I got lost. Oui, c'est ça. Perdu dans les champs de framboisines. Okay, so he's building. What's he building? Uh, da, da, da. So they're building like a magic doorway here. So, et voila, le travail c'est pas beau, ça. And there you go, the work. It's beautiful, isn't it? And he's like, mm, oui, faudra bien faire avec. He's not very happy. He's like, ce qui compte, c'est que ça marche. Dalle, s'il y a un problème, vous pouvez m'appeler à ce numéro. Okay. And they're like, well, it, it'll work. By the way, there's a problem. Um, you need to call this number. Bon chance! There's a number two. Let me get all this super cool psychedelic stuff. And he's found himself here. But he's saying here, Je me perds toujours dans ces zones commerciales. He's like saying, Oh, I always get lost in the commercial zone. And now he's found himself here, look. So now he thinks this guy is sage, is the sage he's looking for. He's got his little dog called Rocky. Bonsoir, je voudrais des frites. Quelle sauce? Uh, I can't read the handwriting all the time on it. Sauce bal d'escargo. Okay, très drôle. Pourquoi c'est drôle? So he's saying, hello, I would like some fries. Which sauce? I would like snail sauce. Okay, very funny. And then, this is one of my favorite things, he's looking for the sage. And every now and then, like he's got these chips and he goes, qu'est-ce que tu fabriques, Fernando? And he goes, like, this is like a recurring motive throughout Maj Pueblo, c'est vous? Bien sûr que c'est moi. So he's going, Maj Pueblo, is that you? And the fry is going, of course it's me. J'ai trouvé un moyen de communication grâce au grimoire. Tu as retrouvé la sage Patrice? So he's saying, I have found a method of communication thanks to the book. You have found, you have, well, we don't really have a, an equivalent to it in English, but you have found Sage Patrice, but it's like, you have refound Sage Patrice. So he goes, il fait que vous venez avec moi. And he goes, ça va pas, non? Laissez-moi tranquille. So he's, he, that thing's going, um, yeah, you're going to have to come with me. And he's going, that's not okay, no. <laughs> Leave me in peace. Rocky! And the dog's coming along. Rocky! And the cars are going like, bleep, bleep. And he's going, Rocky, opiad. Which means like, Rocky, at my feet. Mais où tu vas? Revion. So he's going, but where are you going? 
come back. He's going for a little leak. Lovely. And he's like, hey, ah. Yep, they're transported here. And he goes, qu'est-ce qui se passe? C'est un rêve, c'est ça? Uh, so he's going, what's going on? This is a dream, right? And uh, this dude's going, désolé, normalement on aurait dû atterrir dans la forêt. So normally we would appear in the forest, basically. And he's going, ha, merci, c'est um, Messi c'est un rêve, je dois pouvoir voler, youhou! And he's going, no, attendez! So he's going, but, ah, uh, but this, if this, uh, he's going, ah, but if this is a dream, I can fly. And he's going, no, stop! C'est pas un rêve, on a juste un peu voyage. It's just a little voyage. And, um, yeah, then all this happens. And then he gets kidnapped by this giant bird, and he goes like, oh, secure! Which means, help me! Which I know from Star Wars. And then we get into this little village. And, uh, yeah, they meet this queen, and there's a word of the day that you're not allowed to say. And they accidentally say the word. So here we have another one, look. Ah, enfant, tu m'as libère. Mage, c'est vous? Evidemment que c'est moi. Of course, it's me. Evidently, it's me. Okay, and then here we are. Uh, pendant ce temps chez le Marouflan. So, uh, at the same time, at the, uh, you know, lair of the Marouflan. So, these are the bad guys. Mage, c'est vous? Bien sûr que c'est moi. Oh, yeah, this is, yeah, some little bit of backstory there. A little bit more backstory. So, here he is about to get torn apart. I actually talked about this in my vlog, so I'm, uh, I'm going to add that little clip here so you can see what I thought of this little scene. Okay, so here we have, uh, she's going, J'ai pas droit à un derrière repas? No. So he's like, I don't have the right to a last meal. No. Uh, C'est pas une bonne idée. On la fait une fois, on ne fera plus. Pourquoi? So, this might be harder. Uh, it, that's not a good idea. Uh, if we do it one time, we have to do it more. Oh, yeah. Why? The condamné a vomi partout pendant le cartalement, ça a dégoûté tout l'amant. Okay, so if the con basically if the if the condemned vomit everywhere while they're being like hung, drawn, and quartered, uh, it will disgust everybody. Ah, oh, okay. So yeah, look, we're getting ready, like he is literally about to get hung, uh, hung, drawn and quartered by these horses. And then he's going, hi hi. No, I, that's my, that's my little joke, he's, he's laughing, he's saying, hee hee. Uh, Qu'il est lard avec sa tête d'Amazon? What? Uh, he is ugly with the head of the house. Oh yeah, because, um, his hair is, that's why, because his hair, Looks like the roofs of the houses, you see? Bim bam, bim bam, il a dit le mot, il a dit le mot. Yeah, he said the forbidden word, that's why he's being dr dr like pulled pulled apart. Moving on a little bit, oh yeah, we get this spider. And uh, the dog's obviously over there, and he's going, Hey, rendez-moi ça. He's like, hey, wait, 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 oh, that's mine, yeah. And then he's like, hmm, de quoi? Because, uh... The spider's like, well, what's going on? And he's going, uh, uh, ce pantalon, il est à moi. C'est pas grave, huh? C'est pas un pantalon, c'est un chapeau. So he's going, ah, those trousers, they're mine. But it's no biggie, yeah. And he's going, ah, these aren't trousers, it's a hat. Oh, and then he's obviously taking them away, yeah. And then again, we get uh, back to Chez Le Marouflan. And then there's a big uh, battle. So they're going here, he's going like, on a So we're here too late. Vi, il faut aider les villageois. Uh, quick, we can still help the villagers. Il vont se faire massacre. Uh, yeah, something like that. And then he goes, uh, Vous venez au quoi? Vous venez au quoi? And he's, uh, so, uh, so he's like, Are you coming or not? Ah non, sans moi, merci. Ah no, not with me. Je vais me reposer derrière ce bousson. I'm gonna lie down behind this bush. Venez me chercher quand c'est. So he's gonna be like, Come and find me when it's. Ah! So they're like, Vite, ils ont passé la barrière. And they, she's like, Vite, ils vont commencer sans moi. Qu quick, they are starting without me. I'm going to get this big battle. Venez, la boule de feu et la dadam. Quick, come, the ball of fire is over there. Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely little book. So yeah, that's how my French is coming along. So there you have it, that's a little insight into Bull de Foot by Anouk Ricard and Etienne Chaise. I mean, I gave this a 5 out of 5, but I'm kind of biased because of the situation in which I read it. 
However, it was it was wonderful. Like it was very quirky, almost like Monty Python esque in sometimes, almost Alice in Wonderland esque in sometimes as well. Well, hopefully from my interpretation of it for you guys, you've um, you've got to know it a little bit. But yeah, it's a very special book, and I'm very glad that I have it. Well, my well, yeah, my girlfriend gave it to me after we read it because she knows how I am with books. Even though I'm trying to no longer keep every book that I've read. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.